Jordan Levy and Trey Ogden in the lightweight division. Trey Ogden has been submitted a lot. I mean, come on, man. This guy has been submitted by Nick Brown, a solid Bellator fighter, Thomas Gifford, twice by Guillotine in the first round, and then he lost to Ryan Walker by a decision. He's beaten uh, a few UFC type of guys like TJ Brown, an LFA title challenger, Lucas Clay, a LFA title challenger, Nick Brown, uh, and then JJ Oknovich, a very solid guy as well. So he's beaten some pretty decent competition, but um, yeah, the submission defense, especially in that first round just has not been there um, for Trey Ogden. And fighting a guy like Jordan Levitt, the, the man's got very legit jujitsu. Every single win except for one, be, or except for two being a finish, with six of them being submission wins. Um, those decisions, one of them was way back in 2018. He is Lucas Newfield, uh, who is a pretty solid fighter over there in, in Unified MMA. The other decision that he had on his record was against Izzy William. Now, uh, after that, when he joined the LFA Contender Series UFC just finished, 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 finished never went to the third round, barely never even went uh, into the second round, just two minutes into the Matt Sayos and Le'Von Lewis fights uh, but in, in both of those ones, I mean He's just, his jiu-jitsu, as soon as he got the fight to the ground, he, he kind of dominated the fight. They're fighting a guy like Trey Ogden, who is going to be the better striker. He's got decent wrestling, decent grappling. He, he, he's just pretty average everywhere, in my opinion. I think just one little uh, moment where Jordan Levy gets the fight on the ground, he'll find a way to snatch up the neck of Trey Ogden. I'm not too sure what submission he's going to get, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one with the neck on Trey Ogden. I don't think he's going to put him to sleep, but I, I expect a tap out here in the lightweight weight division. 